Oh my god, wait, 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 wait. I need to check something. I need to check something. Nintendo Switch, innit? Oh my... No, they haven't again, have they? I need to check this. Right, okay, I'm putting this on YouTube. For you guys that don't know, basically for the last, I think it's four years or five years, basically for the Nintendo Switch version of FIFA, they've not done anything. It's been the exact same game for the last four or five years. Like, it is the exact same game. The exact same graphics, exact same gameplay, exact same features, exact same literally everything. Like, the only thing that's different is a roster update, so the transfers, and a, you know, the brand new kits. Genuinely, that's it. And they may add like a, a broadcaster package. So you may get like the the real like Bundesliga packaging in there as well. But I'm pretty sure that is it for the last five, four years. Okay, so it's $39.99. $39, which is, I think that is equivalent to £35, I'm pretty sure. It is, yeah. So £35 for the Nintendo Switch Legacy Edition. Legacy Edition is a very important word that they use here. FIFA 23 Legacy Edition features the latest kits, clubs, and squads. <laughs> when the fact that's the first line. Wait... Wait, I need to... Oh my god! They actually have... They actually have... Oh my Jesus Christ! FIFA 23 Legacy Edition will feature the same gameplay features and mods from the FIFA 22 Legacy Edition without any new development or significant enhancements. Wait... Is that the exact same line they've said last year as well? FIFA 22 Nintendo Switch, $39 again, £35. Does it say, oh my god, it actually is. FIFA 22 Legacy Edition will feature the same gameplay innovation from FIFA 21 without any new developments or significant enhancements. FIFA 21 Legacy Edition will feature the same gameplay features from FIFA 20 without any new development or significant enhancements. FIFA 20 Legacy Edition will include Include all what's new in FIFA 19, but without any new features or significant improvements. What the fuck is happening? How can a company put out the literal same game for four years? So the game has not changed mod wise, career mod wise, ultimate team wise, kickoff wise, nothing wise since FIFA 19. And they put the same bar in every single thing. They can't even be asked to make a new line. They just copy the same thing and just put it in there. So they say here that it will feature the addition of top women's club teams and some of the world's most famous stadiums, including brand new ones. So that may mean that you may get, you know, like the, the newly promoted teams, like you may get Nottingham Forest Stadium in there if you're lucky and an updated visual identity <laughs> new menus <laughs> they've changed the color scheme the menus yeah and um and a refreshed broadcast overlay package the exact same thing i mean they may have the the fut um scoreboard in there instead which is a bit new which, which is which is different this year they may add that in the first line is that it features new kits clubs and squads you know what this is usually called for most respectable like games you know what they usually call this they call it a dlc they call it downloadable content you know that you can just pay five ten pound for to get brand new updated kits rosters that's all this is i can't believe they can't even be asked to change it and they are ch like if it's like 20 quid sure i get it okay I, I can somewhat maybe swallow it and be like okay you know what if it's they've lowered that they've lowered the price and it is technically cheaper than what it would be if you bought it properly you know with an xbox or a playstation or whatever else so if i was to buy the actual game it would cost me 69 pound 99 which is still expensive i swear back in the day it used to cost like 40 odd pound for like fifa 13 i swear back in the day like when like i remember going to game for like the launch of fifa 14 or 13 i remember like going to burn in a bus from after school going straight to game and then buying the game like on launch day and then going back and playing fifa i swear it was no more than 50 quid like They've increased the price over the years, but you know what? At least I can say this EA that you've made it, you know, still way too expensive, but at least it's cheaper, I, I, I guess, but this is embarrassing. Are you kidding me? 
So if I want to buy FIFA 19 on the Nintendo Switch from the EA Amazon thing, they still are charging it at 50 quid. They're still charging it at 49. It's actually more expensive for FIFA 19 Nintendo Switch than it would be just to buy it now when it's fresh. Are you kidding me? This is from the EA store. What? I'm sure there's somewhere that you can go and buy FIFA 19 on the Nintendo Switch and just play that instead. Like, if you have got a child that has a Nintendo Switch and you really want to buy them the game, then just buy them FIFA 19. They probably would not even be able to tell a difference in terms of the new kits. Actually, maybe they would. But at this stage, does it really matter? It probably does. Because most kids, like young kids, they have like a Nintendo Switch. They don't really have like a full-on Xbox or PlayStation as it's cheaper. Then, you know, it's cheaper to have a Nintendo Switch com in comparison, right? Typically. So, they, like, bloody hell. I'm going to hope that no one just plays it. I'm, I really, really hope that there's like maybe a maximum of like 20 people and like and a golden retriever that actually plays fifa on the nintendo switch otherwise i f i feel seriously bad so this is nintendo switch fifa 22 so it's got the brand new menu so we're uh, hey boys making progress right there you know brand new color scheme isn't it so cool i'm surprised that it's even got ultimate team it's got the champions league since the fifa 19 involvement so thanks for that the menus um yep looks um quite old-fashioned but I guess you don't really care. So the graphics is, um, I mean, it's Nintendo Switch, right? So I'm not expecting the exact same graphics as on PlayStation and New Gen, of course. You know, it does have quite a um, Xbox 360 kind of vibe. The lighting looks really off. Like, I, I, maybe it's just me that's trying too hard. Let me just compare this to FIFA 19 quickly. Ah, uh, I see the menus are, yeah, very much the same. I've got this side by side. I want to see the difference. Okay, go. Go. Okay. Starting off. Okay, so it's got the old little cinematics. So now they're running on in a different area. There's a lot more animations on the left one for whatever reason. And let's kick off now. I'm just looking at the sideboards and the fans and... I think it is literally a sat same. A pitch looks the sat same. I mean, how is the pitch looking the sat same? There's a goal there by Mbappe, and it'd be a goal here by Cavani, I believe. Hits that. Is there a similar animation of the goals? I um, mean, they cut more zoomed in camera instantly, and then they kind of celebrate, and then they do the transition. I mean, that's just kind of sad, I'll be honest. Right, okay, so this is my yearly video about this. Um, if you do have a kid, or if you play Nintendo Switch, um, don't bother. I can't wait for next year. You know, EAFC will feature the same gameplay innovation from FIFA 23 without any development or significant enhancements. I don't know how that's even possible, but I'm sure they find a way. F***ing lazy, man. I mean, this is just capitalism at its worst, isn't it? Charging £35 for literally the exact same game that you made four years ago. If you're on Nintendo Switch, just play a new game.